So for the longest time since Crisis on Earth X, everyone's been wondering what happened to Bruce Wayne. Apparently the Arrow vs. First Vigilante. Well, in our first decent look at Batwoman, even though I'm expecting a trailer at some point, we actually get to see the bat suit. So let's break all of this down. <laughs> How's it going Bat Family? Welcome to a new Batwoman video. I'll probably be doing another one soon just to let you know because a lot of information is coming out at the minute. For example, we just got our CW full schedule in terms of all the new shows or some of the existing shows coming back and what days they're going to be on. Uh, but they nicely included a cool little look at Luke Fox and Kate Kane uh, in a little still image of Batwoman, which you can only assume to be in the Batcave. And what else is in the Batcave? Well, something that should always be in the Batcave the Batman suit. We've also had a synopsis for the show for quite a while, but now we've been giving quite a bigger one. So I wanted to go over all of this. This is more of like a reaction video. Uh, as I said, I expect some kind of trailer soon. I could be wrong about that. Uh, but with this stuff coming out, for all I know, uh, as I'm filming this video right now, the CW channel might actually have a Batwoman preview of the pilot or like a little sizzle reel of that first episode up. If that happens, you know what to do, guys. Subscribe to the channel and keep your eye out on this channel for a full breakdown. Uh, but what I want to do is go over this Batwoman image and the synopsis straight away. If you find yourself enjoying this Batwoman coverage and all of this good stuff, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you just took a second of your time to smack that like button as it really uh, seriously does help out the channel. Also, editing this video back, I noticed there's some muffling mic noises. I do want to apologize for that. I'll try and get it sorted out. So, headphone users, I'm sorry if you can hear the like little taps on the mic. I will try and sort it out in future videos. What I'm going to go over first is this uh, article by Variety. There's actually a few I've got up. Uh, the CW 2019 to 2020 primetime schedule, Batwoman teams up with Supergirl on Sundays. And that is because, yes, Batwoman is on at 8, 7 central on the Sunday before Supergirl. And this is an interesting move as well because I was expecting maybe, maybe they might uh, premiere Batwoman uh, after the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover uh, and at the mid-season mark, like how they uh, aired Black Lightning season one. I think it was January 8th, January 11th, um, a couple of years back. But nope, it does seem like Batwoman is premiering this full, which is uh, an interesting move. And it does make sense at the same time, even though the pilot, I believe, is set before last year's crossover which makes sense just to give you some context they need to set this up uh, Batwoman was already Batwoman in the Crisis on Earth X crossover so we need to see that journey of how she got there and then I guess episode 2 will be set after Crisis on Earth X leading up just like all of the other shows we've got at the minute to the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover which will probably be happening mid-season roughly episode 8 or episode 9 but at this point of the video you're like Boba shut the F up what do you think of the Batsuit what do you think of this and to be honest guys, I did not expect to see this. I really didn't. Even though this is a Batwoman show and she's taking over the, the mantle of the protector of Gotham, I wasn't mega sure what they were going to do around treading around Batman. How, you know, I even have a video and I'll leave it in the cards above if you haven't seen it because I go over a lot of other Batwoman information you may, you may not know already. And I think that's titled, How Will the Batwoman Handle Batman? Well, it seems that they're going to handle it in so far like a thumbs up kind of way because already our first promo for Photo, I guess you would say because this reminds me of a typical episodic promo photo the CW would give out for one of their well shows like the flash arrow you name it uh, so what is going on here well we see the bat suit there we see Kate Kane there this is obviously the bat cave I've already had people ask me who the guy is to the right well that is Lucius Fox's son Luke Fox because in this show we don't know exactly what is going on with Lucius Fox as I've said in the cards above video uh, that I've linked in this video it I go over how maybe Lucius Fox has passed away because because it does state that Luke Fox served um, Master Wayne, basically the Batman. So maybe he did take over after Lucius Fox passed away for the Dark Knight. And then the Dark Knight left. So now naturally Luke Fox, aka Batwing, will be helping out Kate Kane. Basically as a mini-me Lucius Fox. Uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing Batwing-like elements. But again, Boba, what about the suit? Well, I'm actually happy with it. It's incredibly like... You know, it sends a shiver down my spine that we actually get to see the first ever vigilante of the Arrow versus suit. I didn't expect the CW 
to display this. Now, I've already actually, believe it or not, received a couple of comments saying, oh my god, they're putting it in the DCEU continuity. No, but I do get what some of you guys are on about by that, because this is incredibly similar to Ben Affleck's Batman suit in the Batcave as well, or wherever he had it in the shot I'm probably putting up on screen. If you guys remember, he was basically looking at the Bat suit that one time. I think it was in Batman vs Superman, and it's in a very similar kind of little cavey closety kind of thing display case that it's kind of in there as of the bat suit that is way more than acceptable seriously that is really good that is even the levels of acceptable where if they did a batman cw show i would think you know what that isn't bad i've always liked uh quite a blending batman suit because right there you can barely see the symbol of course, I would say maybe if it stands out a bit better, that would look cooler. But this is very Batman Begins, if you know what I mean. Nothing is poking out incredibly mad, but at the same time, it looks very, very high quality. Look at the wrist guards. It all looks very, very good. I dig the, the freaking trousers. Everything looks decent. So this truly is the Dark Knight's uh, bat suit. I'm guessing the latest bat suit that he wore, because you also have to bear in mind this Bruce Wayne has already been around for quite a while, as I've already stated in this video, as the CW has stated, that he was the Arrowverse's first vigilante. So what I'm trying to get on here is that this Batman's probably had a few bat suits before this, and this is the latest one he was uh, wearing as as he was going out uh, to the Gotham City nights and clearing uh, the the crime out of the streets. Uh, but then again, you know, if if you don't like the suit, you could easily apply comic book logic in your heads and be like, oh, I'm sure he had a couple that he was sifting throughout. But me, I'm perfectly happy with it. I I am really giddy right now because this is so much more than what I, I expected. So this means that when we get that trailer, I'm certain that we're going to see even more like little Easter eggy like insights into Batman's legacy. So for example, like obviously to off the top of my head is a better look at this bat suit, but maybe some other cool little parts like the Batmobile and other things like that. And we also see uh, some of the tools Batman would use that she's obviously using. Some utility belt pouches, some uh, batarangs. You think, yeah, they, they definitely are drawing quite heavily from the DCU design. Like, even that grapple hook looks similar to the one Ben Affleck had. Now, I'm not saying that Batman's never had anything like that before, but usually, like, the grapple hook, whether it's in the games or some of the comics, is very, like, techy, like, advanced, silvery... Um, like grip to the gun but in Batman vs Superman for example it's like a wooden handle and from what I can tell there it looks like that so that's pretty cool but as you can already tell guys I'm speaking a bit faster a bit more elevated I'm kind of fanboying out right now so that I'm gonna close my thoughts there on the bat suit I'm happy with it it's way as I already said uh, conclusion line to draw from this is that it's way more acceptable than what I would imagine they would do considering well, for all we know, nobody's going to wear that suit. So that does kind of make me think now off the fly of my head, maybe they might actually get somebody in that suit only, only for scenes like, I don't know, dreamy kind of sequences or flashbacky sequences of Kate Kane. Um, just putting like a stand-in actor in the suit. Very silhouette approached and stuff like that. I, I can imagine they might do something like that, but I really wouldn't rely upon it because this show isn't mainly about Batman. So I, I just wanted to throw that out there. But let's talk about the actual full series synopsis. Since now we're getting a lot of information, uh, this is like a massive expansion upon that original synopsis where we had Batwoman has a flair for social justice and la di da 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 This is like a lot more to it. So I'm going to read it out. Um, but it's pretty long, um, so they give us quite a lot more than what I, as I said, we're getting a lot more than what I ever thought we would, um, before the trailer. So Kate Kane never planned to be Gotham's new vigilante. Three years after Batman mysteriously disappeared, which was around Arrow season four time, by the way, uh, Gotham is a city in despair. Without the caped crusader, the Gotham City Police Department was overrun and outgunned by criminal gangs. Enter Jacob Kane and his military-grade private security, which now protects the city with omnipresent firepower and militia. Years before, Jacob's first wife and daughter were killed in the crossfire of Gotham crime. But was she really? What if that daughter becomes the main villain, Alice? He sent his only surviving daughter, Kate Kane, away from Gotham for her safety. After a dishonorable discharge from the military school and years of brutal survival training, very comic book accurate here, Kate returns home when the Alice in Wonderland gang targets her father and his security firm. Now, why would the Alice in Wonderland gang do that? What if it's daddy? You can see how this is all going here. But yeah, her father and his security firm, by kidnapping his best crow officer, 
Sophie Moore. Although remarried to wealthy socialite Catherine Hamilton Kane, who bankrolls the Crows, Jacob is still struggling with the family he lost while keeping Kate, the daughter he still has, at a distance. But Kate is a woman who's done asking for permission. In order to help her family and her city, she'll have to become the one thing her father loathes. A dark night vigilante. So yeah, her father did not like Batman. So with the help of compassionate stepsister Mary and the crafty Luke Fox, as we just saw in that photo, the son of Wayne Enterprises tech guru Lucius Fox, Kate Kane continues the legacy of her missing cousin Bruce Wayne as Batwoman. Still holding a flame for her ex-girlfriend Sophie, uh, Kate uses everything in her power to combat the dark machinations of the psychotic Alice, who's always somewhere slipping between sane and insane. So that was a cool synopsis, much better than the original one. Uh, if you know a little bit about the whole uh, storyline of Kate Kane's origin, her sister who's thought to be dead, but like I don't want to give too much away even though I kind of have, but you know at the same time like stories are out there before these shows even come out and you know they never copy and pasted uh, to the live action if you will, so things are going to end up maybe a little bit different or portrayed differently than what I even know. Let me know what you think of all of this down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the bat suit? do you agree with me, do you think that is like fine enough for the CW. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I, as I said, look out for a trailer breakdown on this channel. It's probably going to come out soon. I could be completely wrong about that, but if there is any new Batwoman stuff, this is the place you want to be for reviews when it comes uh, on Sundays, 8, 7 central before Supergirl. Go ahead and like this video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe, as I've already said, for more Batwoman content. Uh, links, as always, are in the description down below. Join my Discord server to talk about Batwoman with me personally. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next Batwoman video, which could be soon or not so soon. We'll see.